This is a promotion video about our recent work, PPM, a pre-trained plugin model for click-through rate prediction, and this is pending from Jingdong Company. The paper addresses the code style problem in industrial CTR prediction models, which are constructed based on the unique IDs representing items. These IDs are converted into dense vectors through a randomly initialized embedding model. The model will learn the relationships between items during training. However, for those low-frequency items, also known as long-tailed items, the efficacy of ID features falters. One typical solution is to introduce modality-based features, as these features are independent of item frequency. However, the question remains how to introduce modality-based features. The first method is extracting text and vision representations from pre-trained NLP or computer vision models. However, the original pre-trained model's ability is limited due to domain dismatch. Some research papers suggest training NLP or computer vision models end-to-end -end with CTR prediction models. However, this approach results in explosive increase in demand for compute, computing resources. In order to introduce powerful multimodal features without significant increase in the computation cost, we split the user behavior modeling layer in the traditional CTR prediction model into ID-based user behavior modeling and modal-based user behavior modeling. This allows us to pre-train the entire modal-based user behavior modeling with massive cross-domain data to obtain a more powerful user modal representations. And we only use a subset uh, parameters of the, the whole model. This also reduces the computation cost. The specific methods are as follows. First, we fine-tune the pre-trained modal models to adapt to the e-commerce scenario. And then we pre-trained plug-in model on CTR regulation task. Finally, we train the unified model on CTR regulation task. And it has three advantages. First, it reduces computation costs for training and real-time inference compared to traditional end-to-end -end training of modal models. And second, PPM only utilizes modality features as input, allows it to be pre-trained on vast cross-domain data. And finally, and last, PPM can be plugged as a complementary module into traditional ID-based recommendation models.